Elrington. First time, ball in hand, Irish starting to uh, press some Harlequins alarm bells and looking very dangerous and Rona going in again, oh he scored again. He is having a fabulous start to this season and Curtis Rona in these socially distanced times has to celebrate all on his own. Baldwin, no way through. It's a great contest on the game line at the moment. A lot of endeavour from Harlequins and a lot of determination from Irish. Yeah, some good strong carries as well. Marla then Simmons. Steal to Lang. Ooh, that looks a little high from penalty. James Stokes. It's a penalty, but there might be more coming here. There should be. And it's Smith tumbling, scoring, despite the best efforts of Tom Parton. Young. And then Don Brandt and Baldwin again. That is um, heavy tackling from Cowan, but still Harlequins with the threat. Don Brandt spinning away. Hoskins did what he could to slow him down, but this is sharp, meaningful Quinn's attack. And Matt Simmons, first game since November, part of it. And then picked up and driving towards the line. Nice. And woof. Very, very close. Lorde. Can't nice. use the post protectors anymore. Oh, tried to use it just as a, an extra defender, really. And then the little snap through and the try's been scored. Mike Brown, I think. And that was very sharp work. The fullback engaging amongst all the bigger bodies to nip in and score the try. Once more, it's Maffey. Quinn's defence mass around him. Ollie Hoskins with the ball. He's laid it back to Motu Matu, who will try and drive it over the line all on his own. Started it, finished it. And again, and again, penalty the pushing, advantage. and again the shoving, and this time the pick and the go with the penalty oh, advantage, oh. and oh, he's held up just short. Sean O'Brien was there to make sure, but not on the second surge. It is Scott Steele with what feels like a big try for Quinns. To a suey. Oh, now, was that a deliberate knock on it was Archie White who came flying through it's definitely a penalty your take on this Hugo as it comes in it's just a penalty there it is you can we're seeing a lot of it players trying to get into that passing lane but referees will always look at it was he in a a good position to potentially catch that on that occasion it obviously has not worked out for Archie White straight to the straight to the bin O'Brien once more, he's recovered from the, the calf injury that's stopped him making the impact on the Premiership so far this season that he would have wanted to, but fully involved now in this burst, as is Agustin Creevy, it's opening up here. Hoskins, Phipps, Meeks, to a suey, bulldozing his way through, and he's scored. Creevy, picking out again the new man Simmons. So much test experience to set up this situation. Creep is still there and the try is scored. Oh my goodness, and it's another one for Ollie Hoskins. And he's set up the opportunity at least to give Paddy Jackson this opportunity to draw his level. It's on its way and it's between the posts and we are level. Into the final minute, look at this, Harlequins 27, London Irish 27. No silly penalties now. It's so important you get a decision making right at the breakdown. They have. That's an Irish penalty. This would be his biggest, longest kick for some time. Through the mist. How about it? How about Ooh. it? Not quite. And now Mike Brown powers it away for Harlequins and they fancy something special. Marchant to Murley. Trying to catch Irish out of position no, immediately ball, after the kick. Right Ooh, no. Difficulty now is the Quinns have got to go from deep. Yeah, Caden Murley's just pulled his hamstring and walked off the pitch, so they're down to 14. Just got to be careful they don't lose the points. So they are, oh, they've got a penalty. Oh, 
Bryan with a little step. Now he has to be careful. And they decide. Paddy Jackson decides that that'll do. Backers, London neighbours again. And sharing the spoils. It's finished at the stoop. All square. Harlequins 27. London Irish 27.